più drei farfaloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Questi bei panachini, quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank Sponge today's video being established titles. So established titles is totally, totally unique. Why? Because you can become a lord or a lady, yes, or a laird if that's the Scottish pronunciation. So the project itself is based on the Scottish tradition that a landowner is either a lord or a lady. Basically established titles allows you to buy between one and 10 square feet of land. So not only with your purchase are you gonna become a lord or a lady, but established titles is also going to plant a tree for you. The project is all about preserving the picturesque woods and the beautiful pristine wildlife and nature of Scotland. So it's really a new and fun way to support conservation efforts. They actually also support different global charities such as one tree planet and trees for the future and your title really does give you land on a private estate in our dally Aberdeenshire, Scotland. It makes a great last minute gift for somebody who's like difficult to buy for. And the funny thing is with this certificate, you can change your name to Lord, like let's say Lord Joel on your credit card, on your plane ticket, maybe on your dating profile app. And if you're Scottish anyway, this just further connects you back to your family heritage and roots. So right now established titles are actually having a massive holiday sale. And on top of that, you can actually get an extra 10% off your purchase. And that's by using my code Hanson. So you can click the link down below, which is establishedtitles.com forward slash Hanson, and use that promo code Hanson to save an extra 10% off your order today. Hey everyone, Joel here. Today we're going to Boco, yes, Boco Kitchen in North Boston, New York, kind of in that Buffalo area, um, to do a chicken parm challenge. So I was here before, I had a very, very delicious meal with my good friend, Mr. George, this is a big pasta challenge, but here we do a chicken parm challenge. So this is a oversized chicken parm, I think it's the equivalent of like maybe five, five of their traditional chicken parms, um, same as the spaghetti, and then um, a salad, but I don't think that's being oversized. So it's kind of like the traditional chicken parm meal, but an extra, extra large version. Um, we are gonna have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. Uh, hopefully we will be able to get it for free, uh, but that's about that. I'm gonna get the exact details here momentarily. Um, I believe the price tag, if we do not finish, is about $50, but uh, I'll get you that exact details. Let's go some funny food. And let's go. All right, Ron, so here we are. We then have the giant, giant chicken parm. Definitely a good size parm. We then have the salad, and we also have a giant heaping, a giant heaping of spaghetti. I'm so excited. When it's your last time, all the sauces were just so dang good. I love this house-made sauce. Plus we got, of course, the parm, the cheese, and everything on here. Um, the I didn't get to try the chicken before, but the fried zucchini and everything was just absolutely fantastic. So I'm excited to get to try everything here. Um, that's it, so I'm super excited. But basically, let's dive on in so we do. Again, last time was the best pasta I've ever had. I'm sure this will be equally as delicious. So, let's get started. All right, so, might as well get a rocking and a rolling. I think I'm gonna uh, probably start with the salad. Maybe I'll start with the salad this time. <laughs> need some need some greens, so let's get going. I'm gonna say the count of five, four, three, one, let's go. I do like vegetables. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Boco Kitchen. Yes, Boco Kitchen in North Boston or Boston, New York, which is kind of in the Hamburg area, which is about 20 minutes-ish south of Buffalo. Here doing their chicken parm challenge. Um, so this is technically the second chicken parm challenge I've done. The other one was at an Australian uh, bar um, quite a number of years ago, so it's been a long time. Um, so now if you're not familiar what a chicken parm is, uh, well, let me tell you. I will shout out, not as I animal shirt, but I do have an eight vegetable shirt, which would be very soothing right now. So check out joleats.com. So a chicken parm or a chicken parmesan is a uh, chicken cutlet which is battered, deep fried, um, the different batters are used, that's for sure. And then generally it has a like marinara and a cheese on top. And that's pretty much what makes it. So it's a deep fried chicken cutlet, which is then generally baked or uh, at least sauced and uh, we'll say then cheesed um, in some capacity or other. Ooh. 
Alright, let's get into some of this chicken. Damn! That would be crunchy. So chicken parmesan or chicken parmigiana um, definitely appears in different cuisines. Like I said, um, here an Italian version, which is I know it's very, very common in the Italian nature and Italian cuisine. That is where I am most familiar with it. Um, but again, like it's very popular in the Australian culture. Um, so I'm sure there's some other cultures where the chicken parmesan is also very popular. So comment down below. Let me know what other cultures um, feature or highlight chicken parms. Um, because like I said, I know of Italian, I know of Australian, and I'm sure there's some others out there. Um, so chicken parms are really nice. Again, an uh, item that I think most people enjoy. I definitely enjoy them. And I was very excited to be able to do this challenge. So the chicken parm itself was about four to five times the uh, normal uh, serving of the chicken parm. I think it was four, five, four, five, maybe six. It was somewhere between five, four and six. And then we also had the massive bowl of spaghetti, which again was like four to five times uh, like the uh, standard serving. Um, one thing I love here is their sauces. They make all the sauces here. And I tell you, an Italian pasta sauce is really, it really actually is something like, you know, it's, it might, you know, so I've always heard, I always heard like people like, oh, but you gotta have a real Italian's pasta sauce. It is really, really good. Or the marinara, whatever sauce is on this chicken at that. Um, we had 30 minutes to complete this challenge. This was uh, not the first time I ate today. I'd eaten earlier in the day, so I knew it wasn't gonna be fresh but I definitely wanted to give this a go. Um, give it a run. Um, and then of course we had the little salad, which I finished uh, finished kind of first. Yeah, chicken's super crispy. I love that sauce. The sauce is just like 10 out of 10. Can't beat that. I think we're just over three like minutes in. The food definitely had a uh, like a hot temperature to it, and it was very warm out this evening. So I, when you're eating in the hot conditions or harsh conditions, whether it be very hot or very cold, it actually does make it a little more difficult. Just like if you're performing any task, kind of like physical exertion, any sport or any kind of thing like that, it's a little difficult. <laughs> We have a dog. But what always makes it easier is good food, and luckily this was tasting really, really nicely. Um, the like the way they you know uh, breaded everything here with like I don't know panko or whatever it was. Um, man, it was like whatever they fry everything with. It is turns out so crispy. They definitely have kind of the deep frying crispiness down to a science. Um, so if you, because uh, before we had um, like a whole bunch of their appetizers which were fried, like zucchini fritti, they were perfectly fried, crispy, and that's the same with this chicken parm, just super, super, super crispy, um, which I think is really awesome. I enjoyed that. I enjoy a nice, uh, nice crunch, a nice batter um, on my chicken. Um, in regards to uh, flavoring as well, it was a lightly seasoned um, parm, and then again, you have the lovely flavors of the sauce and everything else, and uh, like I said, I love the sauce. The sauce is very very good but I believe that's pretty much most of the information I have for you um, it's a pretty straightforward challenge hopefully we'll be able to complete it get the meal for free um, at that I'm gonna let you get to the rest of the video let me know what you think of uh, chicken parm down below and uh, like I said definitely let me know uh, what other cultures you can see chicken parms in because hey I like a good chicken parm hopefully you guys get a try a good chicken parm if you haven't already and uh, at that I'll let you get to the rest of the video about five minutes in, getting through the chicken. It's very, very delicious. Thoroughly enjoyed it again. That sauce is just like unbeatable. So good. I'm just not 
Pleasure. Thank you so much. All right, about six minutes, maybe 45 seconds in. Now just this absolutely giant, 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 giant bowl of pasta. This is absolutely huge and it is very, very heavy. But we will get through it. Fingers crossed. At least I hope. Ooh, yeah. That is, that is a big one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hot. This may take a while, it's very, very, very hot. The sun's moved, so I'm strategically trying to place my head. Whoops. Casualties are to be expected. About 10.45 in, <sighs> slowly but surely. Like I said, this is a dense bowl.
to about 13 minutes, maybe uh, 15 seconds, something like that. Woo! Definitely a lot of food. That bowl of spaghetti was like deceivingly big. Uh, the like the visual on the camera, at least what I can tell, is not doing it justice. That was a big, big, big bowl of spaghetti. But yeah, very delicious. Really enjoyed that. Like I said, the sauce was fantastic. The parms are great. So, like I said, Boca, definitely stop on by. I thought we'd do milk fruit, which is pretty cool. But uh, that's about it. So, like I said, everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, it was very delicious. I have no other complaints. So until next time, of course, you have a hungry, happy eating. And that. Have a lovely day. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time.